Good morning, world. I'm in Puerto Escondido, Mexico, and it's wonderful. So the next videos are going to become be from Puerto Escondido. I'm settling in here. Thank you, Maggie. This house is beautiful. I went to the beach this morning. I can walk there. Wow. Um, yoga for 10 minutes. Nice to have a routine. I haven't had one for a while. So what I wanted to talk about was, hmm, slow it down. Don't feel like you have to do everything. Sometimes we go through times where we might have some difficulties and you might be disappointed in yourself for not getting enough done. That's how I've been this week. But actually, if you just think every night before you go to bed, okay, what did I get done? For me, <laughs> I actually had a good night's sleep with eight hours of time sleeping. I haven't had that in weeks. So I thought that's something I did. Um, yesterday and today I went swimming in the ocean. And you know, it's not like these things are so easy to make happen. You know, I actually uh, have a new friend here who said he hasn't been to the beach in 20 years. <laughs> even though you can walk <laughs> down the street and get there. Well, hey, there is a steep staircase. And so a lot of people maybe wouldn't want to go up and down there, but it's been good for me because it makes me get out of breath. And walking on the sand is good for my feet. So when you hear about someone having something that maybe you want, don't assume that it's so easy to get it. Um... Take, for example, sleep. I'm trying to work on this this month where I get enough sleep. I wake up a lot. I'm a light sleeper, but it's very quiet here. Thank you again, Maggie. Um, so, you know, don't try to do so much that it makes you crazy. That That's what the thing is. That's what I'm learning right now. Um, and I am working on a lot of different things, but... I'm trying to be gentle with myself and not go overboard on a lot of expectations. Uh, I did need to recover from that 12 hour bus ride to get here. <laughs> uh, it was an overnight bus and uh, finally in the last three hours, uh, some people had gotten off so I went and to the back of the bus and got two seats to myself. So you can fly over the mountains, um, but I didn't know about an airline that gives it uh, gives tickets for a lot lower. You just have to get those tickets way in advance, which I kind of do things last minute when I'm traveling. Uh, and another good advice, it's only 85 miles from Oaxaca City to Puerto Escondido, but it took 11 hours. Okay. Um, <laughs> And it was all in the dark, so you couldn't see anything. <laughs> Advice, get two seats next time. That would only be $50 one way. So, you know, live and learn. We learn every day. So let yourself learn some new things. Don't be so arrogant to think you know everything because even the most successful people don't. And then that's another thing. How do we define success? I'm very grateful to be here in Puerto Escondido in a peaceful place that has good vibes, feels very secure, nice neighbors. So just wanted to give you an update, Puerto Escondido, beautiful oceanside on the Pacific side of Mexico, city that isn't too big. And um, I think if you came here, you'd like it. We're way down in the south of Mexico, almost to Guatemala. So I'll see you in the next video and uh, let me know where you would like to go to Mexico. Maybe I've been there. <laughs>